Hello everyone, Frozen Coaster, and welcome back to some more Real Data System. In the last episode, we chased Maya, Jeremiah and Teresa all the way to the depths of the ocean, and unfortunately, uh, we kind of got ourselves in a bit of a bind. Right now, we're looking for a way to f either call for help or and to get the Manaphy egg as well. So uh, yeah, we've been doing some puzzles and stuff. Some really cool puzzles. Some really innovative puzzles, I would say. But uh, yeah, hopefully in this episode we'll be able to finish that and hopefully get the Manaphy egg. If you're enjoying this series and you want to see more, be sure to like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so I've been trying to rack my brain about this. I, I feel like the key is this, but I don't know why. Won't touch anymore for real, but upon further inspection, doesn't it have some weird protrusions? They're like dots and dashes. Do you think we could capture their design? Wait a minute. Do I have to copy what... What those dots mean? Oh, I think I understand now. Oh, I think I... Capture their design somewhere? It's covered in ink. Oh, so I have to copy what the lines are. Hmm, okay. So... It's one... See, the problem is, it's like... Since the thing is a cylinder, I can't tell if it's just... Oh my god, I didn't even notice this... What is this? Obtain paper... I feel a little stupid. I, I feel... I feel a little stupid. Alright, so now we can combine this with the stain mechanism. Marked paper. Let's see. This drawing was made from staping the music box mechanism on the paper. Hmm, dots and dashes? Reminds me of something. Okay. I Do I feel a little stupid? Do I feel a little foolish? Yes, I do. <laughs> I did not know that piece of paper was there. I thought that was just part of the damn texture. Uh, I wish that was glowing purple. Alright, so let's see that piece of paper again. Alright, so I think I, now I have the actual... ...password. Maybe? Hopefully? I hope so. <laughs> Alright, let me take a picture of this first. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's right. I wrote the alphabet on the paper for you with the ink while we were in the inner tube. Here you go. Oh. Thanks. Okay, so now he's giving me the Morse code. Morse guide. Morse code has been used for 160 years already. As a curiosity, the very first message uh, was sent, was, was, what has God created? I wonder if Morse crude will ever stop being used. Oh, he doesn't have, oh, he just, okay. Alright, let's see. Uh, oh, and the M is guide, okay. Cool. Okay, so it's two lines a dot a line a line a dot and then a dot and a line oh here we go the engraving on the music box is red mana it seems like we need to figure out a three letter continuation of mana to make it a word and input it into the telegraph code Okay, but like, how do I do that? Oh, oh, I get it. D oh, do I have to spell Manaphy? Oh, that's okay. 
Because I'm sitting here putting in mana in the thing, and I'm like, okay, but where's the rest of it? <laughs> like, where's the rest? So I need P-H-Y, right? So... Got it. I had to put the lat it's, since it spells Manaphy. Okay, that that makes me curious. Very very curious. All right. Well, we solved the puzzle. Okay. So I just have to put Manaphy since we know what the Pokemon they're looking for. Yeah. Okay. That all makes sense. Okay, I got it. There it is. Ah, there it is. The egg of Manaphy, and beyond nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's over. There's absolutely nothing we can that can take us to the sur to the sub or to the surface. Ugh. Well, I guess we could just grab the egg, at least, and take it outside. At least we'll have air. Uh, yeah, let's grab this. So much to get this far, and we only can see it. Mm, ugh. Uh, you okay? I'm fine. I just need to sit down. Oh, he's sitting. He's actually sitting. Low oxygen. Oh, oh shit. Ugh, there shouldn't be much oxygen left in your suit either, Arya. The Pokemon Manaphy. With it, the reality system was going to be compl completely perfected. And it wasn't even exactly necessary for the plan. But just to see her happy. Just to see Teresa happy. I... Teresa grew up without her mother, who died after her birth. She only had me, our father, and... His best friend. An extremely rare little shiny Swablu. They played together every day. They were inseparable companions. We lived far from the city, and neither my father nor I could spend much time with her for study and work reasons. For her, that Pokemon was the most important thing in the world. Aww. One day, Teresa fell seriously ill, and in order to recover, we needed to buy her some medicine that we couldn't afford. My father had spent much of what little money we had on my studies, and we didn't know what to do. Then our father had an idea. Teresa's Swablu was rare, wasn't it? If we offered it to someone, I'm sure they'd give us the money we needed to save her, right? We were probably going to try and to help her by taking away what made her want to live. But it was the only thing we could do. The only thing we could do, right? When she fully recovered and her Pokemon was no longer by her side, Teresa didn't smile again. I'm sure at the time she hated us with all her might. And we had no excuse. Our father passed away shortly after. I finished my studies and had a project in mind, but not the money to carry it out. Something that would make people appreciate Pokemon. Don't take lightly the bonds you can form with them and how breaking them can have a big effect on your life. The Realidea System. I was probably just trying to win back my sister's appreciation by trying to do something to make her happy. Even if I fail to push the system to the limit, even if it's at least usable, after all, I'm satisfied. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, jeez. Should I tell Jeremiah what Simon said about the reality system? Oh, wait, what? Is there... I, I guess I'll tell him. Do you want to tell me something? Don't do what I did and waste your breath. It's not worth it. Oh, what? Oh, I can't tell. Wow. The currents continue. They can be felt even from here. Ugh, Teresa. I would have liked to say goodbye to you while I adjusted my glasses. Forgive me. <laughs> Aw. Is the egg glowing? What? Oh, hey. Oh, with that mantine, we can easily get out of here. A mantine? We can, we can get on it. Let's go. Ah, one moment. Ah, of course. Already. 
Ooh. Now that I think about it, the fact that there are so many ocean currents is strange. Is it? And the appearance of this mantine has been curiously convenient. I don't know, man. It, it can't be. The mantine really brought the chief back. B boss! Uh, oxygen. Yeah, sure, let's all go back to the submarine. I hope Mr. Reese has stopped crying by now. Ugh. Oh. Oh, is... <laughs> poor, poor Owen. <laughs> He's... Man, if he sank. After all that, you brought it with you. Of course. You doubted me? We haven't been in any danger at any time. I knew we'd get out of that. Oh, oh, really now? Okay. How I missed being able to push my glasses up. <laughs> oh, Jeremiah, you... You're... You're... You are unconscious. Do you think all this would have been worth it if you had... If you had... Aw. Hello? Are you forgetting someone? The idea of letting Maintime look for them was my idea. Where's my credit? Well, I guess I should thank the wild-haired boy. I guess. Owen! It's Owen! <laughs> Still, the chance of the Mantine finding you was slim to none. I wonder if the egg had anything to do with it. Now that you mention it, the egg started making noises and moving around just before the Mantine arrived. Do you think it let it here? Oh, it may be that. Thank you very much, Mr. Egg. And you don't thank me directly? I'll take Owen to the cockpit. Don't worry. I'll untie you there if you promise not to make any more trouble. I trust Arya. Let me know when you're done investigating that egg. I... you are... <laughs> Aww. Aww. Well, let's see. The egg seems to be in perfect condition, so... Oh, what? The egg? Oh, it hatched. Um, this... Little... I'm not your mom. Aww. Uh, it won't come off. I should go tell Jeremiah about this. I'm sure he'd like to entertain himself with the Manaphy. <laughs> that noise! Oh, I know that cry anywhere. That's a motherfucking Kyogre. Oh, jeez. No, I can't be happy. A Kyogre? What's one doing here? Ooh. Emergency. Detected water leak in the loading chamber. Following the protocol, the chamber will be sealed to avoid damage to the control room. Uh, no, this means... We're stuck? Teresa! Teresa, are you okay? The chamber is locked. Hold on just a second. We'll unlock it right now. Oh yeah, please stop getting into trouble. Don't even think about it, Jeremiah. If you open the hatch, we'll all drown. Aww. Ooh. Alright, hold on to anything. The rear is going to give. Oh, we... Oh, we should have put on those suits. Aww. Little, little... He's just a little guy. Oh. <laughs> Where the hell are we? Oh, I'm playing as Teresa. Oh shit. Oh, hello. Get up, me. What? But what? Why is there another me in front of me? No, it doesn't make sense. I think I hit my head. Yes, that must be it. Wait a minute. Did it transfer our souls? You! You did this, right? Put me back in my body right now. This is so awkward. <laughs> you don't understand anything I'm saying, do you? Oh, no. Great, just great. You are Arya, right? Looks like the sea swept us away after that incident with the submarine. And Manaphy used its power to keep us safe, but it also used Soul Changer in the process. And here we are. What falls from the sky is ash. There's no volcano in the region, so we can assume that we're on some desert island. Oh, right. It's your system. I can't use it because I don't have a bond with your Pokémon. It doesn't seem to be getting a signal anyway. The situation is becoming more complicated. Here, I'll give you back your Pokémon and your things from the bag. Give me mine. I also can't get a signal on any of my devices. If only we could ask for help. 
We have to climb the volcano. If we do that, at least we'll have a chance to contact someone. I know my brother will be aware of any signal he detects. Looks like we'll have to join forces for a limited time. I've got some medicine, so let me know if your Pokemon are really sick. I'll take Manaphy. He seems to recognize me. Oh, no baby. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Oh, no, no facial changes. Oh, that's cool. All right. Let's go. Oh, and I can't use Surf. Oh, that sucks. Oh, so I'm really like... Where the hell are we? Oh, that's an absolute just chilling. Uh, that's a Manetric just chilling. What the hell? Okay, well. Oh, it's a Pelipper. Oh, this is weird. Hi. Too bad I can't add you to the party. I would love to have an Absol in my party. Although I do have a Dark Tap already, but still. Oh, there's a survivor. What the fuck? Oh, you're about to catch these hands anyway. Oh, I mi oh I missed. Are you kidding me? I miss. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. All right. Let's grab this Pokeball. Oh, so I had to come here anyway. Wait. Oh, I. I should have just let. I should have just kept walking. Whatever. Oh, he just roared me out of the way. Whatever. All right. Hi, Skarmory. Thunder Punch. Goodbye. Wow, a Skarm with no sturdy. Impossible. <laughs> oh. Wait, Arya, is that. A helicopter? I wonder if. Like us, someone has... Hmm. Hey, Arya, I need a break. Do you mind if we stay here for a, a moment to get our strength back? Also, look ahead. We've almost reached the entrance to the volcano. Oh, well, so we have. I wonder if we could salvage something. Oh. Ah, thank goodness. The effect of the soul changer is worn off. <laughs> we haven't had time to talk about it until now, but... Why have you come back after us? We will distribute the realities throughout the region. Everyone will use them. And then only those with ties to their Pokemon will keep them. Don't you agree with that? Is there something else? Oh, do I tell her? Uh, I feel like I have to. I feel like I'm obligated to tell them, right? Like, I feel like... Whatever Liliana's planning, it's not good. Right? And I feel like she probably put something in there that would be like... But which, how do I put it? Because if I put it like, oh, Simon told me, she'd be like, oh, you're just, uh, you're just bullshitting because Simon's just salty. <sighs> I guess, let's, what? That's stupid. You're lying. Neither Jeremiah nor I have done anything in the code that would do something like this. Hmm. No. There is definitely nothing strange. Everything is in order. Unless there was a last minute change from the main servers, of course. Which is impossible because Jeremiah updated our systems right after he left Agate City. Jeremiah was the last one to update them. No, he... He wouldn't do that. Steal the links of the entire region? He wouldn't. No. Oh, here we go. My mother passed away when I was very young, leaving Jeremiah and I in the care of our father. I was completely devastated, and I'm sure Jeremiah was too. However, he thought more of me than himself and cheered me up as best he could. Our family didn't have a lot of money, and we did what we have to uh, we did what we have used to pay for my brother's studies. He knew he knew it and worked hard. Aw His best friend Buddu was with him all the time. I'm sure it was one of the main reasons he was able to keep going. Seeing him try so hard for the family made me feel useless. I was very little and spent time playing with my Swablu, but I never stopped thinking. As soon as I grow up, I'll study too to help Dad and Jeremiah. I'll discover new ways to bond with them. Then I became seriously ill. And to top it off, in order to afford the medicine that would save me, I lost my dear Swablu. I came to the conclusion that I was just a nuisance. Oh, 
I fell ill, worried my family, and had to say goodbye to my Pokemon. Even after that, Jeremiah kept smiling at me, even though I no longer had the strength for it. Despite all the stress he was under and the trouble he caused, he could still care about me, and I couldn't do anything. What a jerk, really. It would be nice if he had thought about himself once in a while. <laughs> but I just wanted to pay him back for everything. Make him see that I'm good for something. That it wasn't in vain to help me. And if the, with the reality is that I could do something useful for the people of the region and for the Pokemon. Then I'll be more than satisfied. I won't let anything go wrong. I trust Jeremiah. He wouldn't betray me like that. If there really is something wrong with the code, it's someone else's doing. 100%. And with that said, I've rested enough. I expect the best from you as we climb the volcano, huh? Oh, okay. And on that note, I'm going to end the episode all here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time.